Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video on a little classic mini we're doing today. Um, it's from Nate Simon's mini. Uh, I think you've seen it on the channel before. It had uh, blue arches on it that matched the roof. He wasn't happy with the arches so he's changed them. There is a proper name for these arches. I don't know what they are, but he's fitted them up. Uh, excuse the wood. I'm having the drain manhole cover that I've got painted. Me uh, neighbour's blasting it for me. Uh, yeah, we've got loads and loads of micro blisters to contend with on these arches. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well. But um, yeah, we've got to deal with them. Uh, here you go. You can see some there now. So, loads of micro blistering on them arches to correct and sort out. Needs painting and the roof. It's got a couple of dings, loads and loads of toot in it. I can't really show you. It's, it's not, uh, it's showing on my screen a lot darker than what it actually is. This is like a British gas blue, quite a light blue. Um, don't know if I can show you any of it. There's flatting marks in it and there's, uh, hard to say if it's silicones or just dirt nibs but there's, there's lots of questionable bits going on in that. So we are going to sort this out for him. It's, uh, well, it's actually nearly the end of the day now. I always say morning, guys, because you like moan. <laughs> They've uh, been here most of the day installing my paint scheme. Uh, and all my colour chips, computer system, scales, and all of that lot. Uh, I've gone for the Spectral 2.0 to Wave uh, paint scheme, I believe that one is. So, be some fun videos coming up, me trying to learn how to use all that lot. This one's actually getting painted in solvent. Uh, my mate Cy si wanted this in Shiny Primer. And for, <laughs> for use of those that don't know what Shiny Primer is, uh, he wanted Nardo Grey, but I have got about a litre of full Stealth Grey left. Uh, so he said, yeah, go on, we'll chuck that on there. So we're going to do the roof in stealth grey and the arches. My job on this is just to do the roof and arches. We're not doing the rest of the car yet. He's got other plans. He will end up in, uh, eventually painting all of that, to be honest. But it's a cool little car. He's just building a little 1275 engine for it that he's going to chuck in it. And uh, yeah, going to make it even better. We've literally just had the paint guys go uh, and my compressor guys just had to come and finish a few bits. He's just gone and now we're gluing. I know it looks like I've got loads of rubbish there, but they're holding the plastic skirting board as such. Uh, put some fascia board down like plastic ones that I put in here. Just so if you bump into it with anything or throw tools down, it just makes it look a little bit better and it'll save the walls as such so yeah still work in progress but we are open it is my first day uh and i just said to him look when when they get finished i'll make a start on your motor uh so he knows you know it's no dramas he's one of my friends so yeah what i am going to do before i do bugger off home uh, and we will resume this video tomorrow is i'm going to start sanding this roof down uh, I can't pick that up, but loads of bubbles in there. Really, really hard to show what's going on with the paintwork. It's such a shame that I can't pick it all up. But um, yeah, I'm going to start sanding the roof down. And I did say to him, because a lot of this is questionable, very, very questionable, um, we're not going to town on it. My job that I'm getting paid to do is to sand this down uh prime it and paint it so that's what we're doing if we find anything that we don't want to find then he's getting called and he's coming back over and having a look but yeah uh, i'm going to set you up on a tripod it's enough waffling let's get cracking uh i'm going to start buzzing this down with a da a bit of 320 grit see you in a moment
I just had to stop and show you. I've turned the side lights off. So I've been sanding this with a 320 grit and uh, these are the kind of bits that I'm trying to tackle even with 320 grit, which is very, very coarse, really. But uh, I'm just trying to highlight the crap that was in it. So I've got to try and level this out, make this look <laughs> as good as we can do. Um, don't know if you see there, there's runs in there. It's, it's not the easiest to show. But you see there's little bits in there. That's like a sag. So it's obviously a run that hasn't quite run, it's sagged over. Uh, uh, we've got a few silicons, one there. There's a handful here. Uh, so show in the light, there we go, sparkling away there. And same again here, we had another sag run, and that's a bit of a sag going on through there. We shall sort it, but yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of love. Let's crack on, let's get this sanded. I'll have to finish it by hand, but I want to DA it down this evening. Um, obviously I did say I would have liked to remove it right back and crack on and we put a bit of epoxy primer around it and stuff, but we're working to a budget. We're gonna still make it look the best we can uh, for the money that we're getting paid. So that's what it boils down to. Um, I don't change the quality of my work, but uh, Obviously I need to do it as cheap as I can for him and some people don't want it done the best that it can be done, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, the quality of the finish would be no different, but I would have liked to have removed all of that uh, and do it how I would want to do it. But you've got to work within people's budgets. You're still going to get a, a perfect, well, perfect job, you know what I mean, a pucker job, but we are going to remove some of the steps that I would have gone through to get it 100% right. So yeah, let's crack on, let's get them imperfections out. Let's get this ready for a bit of primer. See you in a moment. There we go guys, that's that all sanded down with a bit of 320. That little imperfection, I'll say little, the big imperfection that was there. Uh, that kind of looked like that was a silicon that they were having trouble with. It looked like they loaded loads of paint on it to try and cover it. Um, so that's sort of leveled out all right. I've still got to tackle all the channels. I'm gonna do that by hand. That's probably gonna be done in the morning. Um, Arches have been ripped off, they're over there now. So I can crack on with them. So yeah, we do all this bit by hand, sort all the channels out and fix the seam sealer that's split around here and a little bit of the front. And we'll get this in primer. And also in between, we'll sort this out, sand them back, try and chase all the micro blisters out of that and get them in primer. So. I shall see you in the morning, which will be in about a second for you.
that's all the bits prepped. Um, all the arches are done. Just got to go over a few bits by hand, but all of the sanding with machines is sort of finished. We're going all the little bits, get all the edges and stuff. Um, got a little bit of seam sealer to replace the fouled seam sealer bits in now. Uh, obviously, like I said before, I did explain to him I would have preferred to rip it all out to make it correct, but we can only do what is asked for and what they want to pay for. Uh, my next issue <laughs> that I didn't think of is I've now got to go paint the sticky coating on my booth uh, to protect it from overspray in the future. So I've got to have a clean up in here. Uh, like I said in another video, I got given this one and people said, oh, it's not that great. Go and get the Stark in one. So uh, I've read the tech sheet. You can brush that on, roll it on, or spray it on. Uh, I've never ever used it, but I'm going to get my primer gun out, gun out, uh, and then I'm going to smash it all around the walls and see how we get on. So I'm going to have a tidy up in here quickly uh, and get this sorted. I believe once it's on, it's on, then I can just use my booth. Uh, whatever overspray will sp stick to that tacky coating and not, not the actual booth itself. So I'm still waiting for the compressor guy to come back. We've got a bit of an air leak in the mixing room. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some niggles to contend with for a while. We're still work in progress. I still ain't unpacked my mixing room. <laughs> Uh, I've got all of my bits in there, in the cupboard, up there, I've got guns to put up, I've got gun rack and yeah, all sorts going on, but you're not going to hear it. One of them joints on the aluminium pipe somewhere is hissing and leaking, so yeah, we'll get there. I'm going to start cleaning this booth and then we'll get some of this coating on. I'm probably not going to film it because I want the booth down and the filters on. Uh, I have loads of sawdust on top of the roof from where they were drilling and doing things up there. So I'm going to try and get all this blown down um, and down the side of the booth down there there's loads of um, dust and stuff. So where my filters are at the end of the wall uh, I went for a Prevost filter system, a three-stage breathable system. Uh, that's down there on the wall, but where the electricians were putting lighting in above the mezzanine and everything, there's all sawdust around there. So I don't want a booth to suck it all in. So I'm going to get that cleaned, get this cleaned, and then down on the other side, uh, all in there. I'm going to get all that cleaned, get the roof blown off. So yeah, let's get some cleaning done. Then we can drag the mini in. I'll finish the other bits by hand. We get them on some stands or trestles in now, and we'll get ready for primer.
there we go. It's gonna be a bit noisy, you've got the fan on. Already a rumble. Just kind of white. Smash this in primer. So that might have a dust on brand new booth, never ever used it, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it might might come out clean. Let's see. See you tomorrow. Three coats of epoxy primer now. I put a flexible additive from uh, Multi Mix in with that as well. Uh, they don't really flex, they're fiberglass, they don't really flex that much, but um, put a tiny bit in there just to be on the safe side. So this is epoxy primer, uh, just as a sort of barrier to keep everything uh, where it should be. You don't want anything pickling up or coming through. Uh, this is good to go. I can paint straight on top of this. This is like a, I've done it in a wet and wet application. Um, but I'm going to put some high build on this roof. There's a few little imperfections that I'm not happy with that I want to block out and make look nice. Um, it has gone on reasonably well, but there is a dodgy bit. When we was um, sanding it, it was some silicon patches and some bits and bobs uh, I can't just try and show you in the light I can't really show you I've got something dodgy going on in this area that I'm not happy with uh, so I'm going to put some eye build on this and block it down in the morning but yeah we're getting there it would have been nice if that had come out all sweet like that and we could have just painted on top but um it is what it is, We've got teething problems. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have enough pressure either in my booth. I had to go around, turn the regulators up. Um, yeah, little niggles, you know, it's the first time using it, but it clears well, to be honest. And there aren't uh, much dust nibs or anything like that in this, which is quite a good positive sign. Uh, it can go either way, can't it? It can end up with a dust storm. <laughs> but no. Yeah, that's just a bit of primer. It looks looks all right. I'm really happy with that. So um, yeah, the video's mega long anyway. So what we do is we do a part two. Uh, we'll prep the primer that I'm going to put on, and uh, then we'll get in paint and we'll film all of that as well. So we are getting back in the swing of it again. We're now fully operational. So uh, massive thanks for all your support uh, and a massive welcome and hello to all the new subscribers. They keep on going up, but uh, now we can get back to it, get some videos out on the regular and um, yeah, crack on. So happy days. I'm going to um, chuck some eye build on this and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and be lucky.